Hello and welcome to Weekend Investing Daily Bites. We are shooting episode 252, 23rd of June. And this is a sequel to our uh, previous Daily Bite, which was when can you make profits. And we went through the probabilities of how uh, much time you need to be in the market based on prior historical data so that you will not make a loss. And we'll continue that same series today. Uh, looking at uh, data for various uh, indices and weekend investing strategies and seeing how far do you at least need to continue as a, uh, on a minimum basis to avoid that loss. Uh, first, uh, take a look at the markets. Uh, it was basically an auto day. From the very start of the morning, you had Maruti, Aishar, TVS, Ashok Leyland, uh, Tata Motors, all in the green and they went through the day uh, from strength to strength. Consumption stocks uh, also followed today. Uh, IT stocks were up today. Real estate stocks also uh, came back up. The uh, unique feature for the day was that the Nifty swung wildly uh, 200 points up, down, up, down many times. Uh, traders who were probably playing like hourly time frame would have got killed but on a shorter time frame may have made money uh, and for a longer time frame also would have you know sort of stayed in long uh, the entire day but nevertheless uh, it was a very tricky day for most traders uh, energy stocks continued to languish uh, so did public sector enterprise stocks and infra stocks but nevertheless uh, it's a good day uh, that uh, after that fall earlier in the week uh, the bounce was there in the market and then the bounce gave back up and today you know that bounce is getting bolstered up again so unless there is a fresh uh, you know negative wave from overseas I think we are sorted for now uh, if we break that Monday or Tuesday low again I think that's when we will go on to a new low if that happens but uh, I don't think that is of very high probability although uh, these days you really cannot uh, make any forecasts. <clears throat> in terms of overall markets you can see all the indices were fairly even uh, around 1% mark. Uh, in terms of weekend investing strategies also many strategies around the 1% mark and some of those in high cash slightly less than that. So not remarkable from that point of view of outperformance or underperformance. Heat map for the day quite green. You can see TCS up 2.5%, Infosys up, uh, HCL Tech, Wipro all up in the IT space. In the banking space, you had ICICI Bank up nearly 2%. Uh, in the FMCG space, you had Hindustan Levers up 2.5%. Uh, Maruti, as you can see, uh, 6%, Tata Motors 3%, Bajaj Auto 4%, Mahindra Mahindra 4.5%, uh, and Aishar Motors up nearly 6%. Uh, in terms of uh, consumption stocks, uh, Asian paints 3.4% up, uh, some uh, flavor also coming into pharma, so Sun Pharma, DVs and Cipla all up nearly 2% and some signif uh, insignificant sort of uh, day for uh, L&T or ITC or uh, Titan for that matter. Reliance continued to be weak along with Coal India, so the energy uh, uh, sector here uh, remains a bit weak. In terms of the top gainers in the top 500 stocks, Ken Plus, Sanmar up 14%, 15%, KEC International up 11%, Route Mobile on announcement of buyback up 8.5%, IRB Infra up 7%, and Maruti Suzuki up 6%, reaching uh, 8271. In terms of uh, weak stocks, Star Health down 6%, Brightcom down 5%, Dhani Service down 5%, MRPL has been uh, going up and down quite a bit, minus 4% and EID Parry also dramatically coming down by 3%. Uh, this uh, episode 248, we had this first series, when can you make profit? So we discussed about the probability of making a loss based on rolling returns. So you know, if you see rolling returns in the last 22 years, uh, the probability of making a loss if you held on for five and a half years or more, or maybe let's take six years, 
was virtually nil and beyond 3% or 3 years the probability of making a loss was extremely low at just about 3% so 97% chance that you would have made money and beyond 2 years or less than 2 years of course there was a probability that you'll make a loss from 20 to 37% but still that is on the lower side i would say uh, in terms of uh, the probabilities so today what we are going to do is we are going to look at the probabilities of making a loss in large and mid cap strategies so earlier we did a run on uh, nifty over 20 years and here what we will do is we will do a run on rolling returns uh, for the last 6 years since we have weekend investing strategies data uh, to compare uh, where the strategies have uh, been versus the uh, indices so for large and mid cap strategies so mi nnf 10 large cap strategy and ng 5050 is a etf strategy on nifty and gold etf mi evergreen is top 200 stocks along with gold and mi lts cnx 200 is top 200 stocks uh, based on cnx 200 strategy so what we can see here is that large cap cnx 200 uh, index the probability of making a loss if you see on a 3 month rolling return is 30% comes down to on a 1 year basis almost 19% on a 2 year basis down to 13% on a 3 year basis down to 7% and in 4 years basis down to 0 similarly for next nifty next 50 and similarly we had the situation for nifty also so in all three indices if you held on for 3 4 years there was no probability of getting a loss uh in terms of strategies because strategies are designed in such a way that they remain with the strength and hopefully they will be able to beat the indices on the underlying basis so nnf 10 uh, the probability goes to zero uh, once you go to 3 years so so 2 and a half years or more 3 years there is no probability of loss based on last 6 years of data uh ng 5050 is dramatically low even after 9 months of rolling so even one year uh, a rolling return if you take then only 1.6% probability that you would have lost money uh, evergreen the probability is zero again at 3 year point and for mi ltcx 200 it was at 4 year point similar to the indices so you can see that most strategies here have done better in terms of you know having a lower probability of of making a loss in in lesser number of time the same is also true when we look at mid and small cap strategies so mid and small cap index 400 uh, for if you held on if you did a rolling return over 4 years there was a 1.3% uh, chance that you would have made a loss uh, so 3 and a half years was 9.3 and 4 years is 1.3 uh, very similar to nifty actually but just look at uh, you know mi 20 and mi 50 both of which are mid and small cap strategies is that while the three month rolling is similar to the underlying index as soon as you go to three years it is much much better than the index so there is very high probability uh, that you will make a gain beyond let's say two and a half three years so uh, in the worst of situations i mean i would say in the last six years data we've seen almost the worst of situations where you know indices have uh, strategies have gone to cash Uh, fully or they have fully you know sort of rotated into defensive stocks so within 3 years you can see the probability goes to zero so what so basically what this all is saying is that the longer you can stick around in the market and the more gradually that you can bring in your money uh, and if you are able to do a strategy which is beating the index uh, within 3 years or so uh, you should be at a situation where at least you will not have a loss and that's a reasonably good outcome to have if you are looking for you know 5 10 15 years type of uh, a journey in the market and at any point of time within 3 years if you are sitting at no loss you will definitely get years where you will make up for you know those those lost years also so this the third one is uh, probability of making a loss over small cap strategies so we've had small cap 250 index here and here you can see that you know uh, the uh, even at 4 years the probability of losing remains at 23.7 and it goes to zero much lower than that uh 
so small cap index is has a higher probability of making a loss than than large cap strategies and uh, the unique part here is that these two strategies mi25 and mi35 uh, again uh, there is no probability that we had in the last 6 years that rolling returns of 3 years made any loss so that is a huge advantage over the small cap index uh, if you were to you know uh, run the money in these strategies so again uh, uh, and and we have another one uh, the all cap strategy uh, uh, index so uh, cnx 500 has been uh, at 4 years in terms of probability of making loan loss very similar to again to nifty but uh, as per previous examples mi 30 3 years zero probability mi all cap almost zero probability at 2.5 years mi ath again 3 years and ath2 at 0.1% in 2 years currently we are sitting in a loss over a 1 year period we had a 20% probability of loss and we are sitting at loss here ath which performed really well uh, in 2021 uh also has a as a reasonably long wait period in case we do get into a drawdown uh, uh on an average basis but overall all these strategies still outperform the underlying index by a wide margin and hence the need to have that uh, you know that runway on your uh, portfolio uh, plan another insight from charlie bilelo he is our favorite uh, twitter analyst he provides fantastic data you must follow him on twitter uh, snp 500 index uh, he has tracked it for the, for the last 90 years and the first 116 days of the trading year starting from 1st january uh, this has been the worst performing year after 1932 so the great depression Uh, years of 1929 to 1932. In 1932, we had a worse start to the year with, with market down 40%. Uh, and this currently is the second worst start at minus 22%. So pretty bleak in terms of you know 90 years type of records getting broken. But just see what happened in the next uh, you know part of the year. So from day 117 to year end. there was a 43% recovery in 1932 and it ended with only a minus 15% year again in 1962 there was a minus 22% start with the rest of the year being at plus 13% resulting in minus 18 1940 similar situation 1970 similar situation 1939 similar situation so in 1 2 3 4 5 6 examples of the top worst starts of the year in all the cases beyond the first uh, let's say 116 or days there was a huge recovery that came around and we don't know if 2022 will be like that but it is always possible so this current uh, scenario is giving a very good picture about the rest of the year but of course there were cases like 1931 where the initial start was slow but it collapsed in the later part of the year similarly 1937 also so it's a kind of a mixed bag but you know all hope should not die because everybody is calling recession you never know what's going to happen in the market another one from charlie uh, so 60 40 portfolio a very favorite sort of balanced portfolio most people run so 60% stocks and 40% in 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 debt or bonds and uh, the total returns based on that in the last uh, 45 odd years and you can see that we've had the worst performing year to date uh, balanced portfolio returns at minus 18% after 2008 so we have come very close to the great financial crisis uh, uh, you know start of the year uh, so far year to date uh, the entire 2008 year was minus 20 and we are already at minus 18 in june here so from that perspective uh, you know we've had quite a bit of a drop in both equity plus bonds and uh, that to me uh, augurs quite well that you know we've already sustained most of the damage or there may be some more to come but just see the probability of uh, you know the balanced portfolio going to red it was already quite low and within that low probability uh, we've hit almost the, the historical lows that we've had here so all this 
kind of gives you better hope that you know uh, the, the the rest of the year may not be as bad as it is being made out to be but of course if there is a once in a lifetime kind of a meltdown then we will make some new records so this is all i had for today's uh, daily bite please do keep uh, liking and subscribing uh, uh, to the channel and uh, do share it with your friends and family and i'll see you in another video bye